Hello all, welcome to the scripting Wi-Fi pen testing tools in Python series at Pentester Academy. Now in this course, we will teach you how to script your own Wi-Fi sniffers, injectors and even create useful pen testing tools in Python. Now what are the prerequisites for this course? Well, you should at least know the basics of Wi-Fi security and Python scripting. Now, please note, I do not assume that you are actually a master of either or both. My assumption is that you know the very basics of both of these subjects and can write at least very small Python scripts. Now, in case you have not done any of these courses, please use the link and then you can go ahead and go through these courses and then come back to this series. Okay, so let's begin. Now, if you wanted to write your own Wi-Fi sniffers, uh, pretty much tools like Wireshark and Aerodump NG, which can parse packets, store packets in files, what would you need to do? Now, the first approach is really a very uh, low level approach of using raw sockets. I'll give you some examples at the very end of the course. Now the problem with raw sockets of course is you would have to do a ton of stuff by yourself uh, including telling your network stack that you need the packets, you would need to create a buffering function so that when the packets come in you can store them somewhere temporarily before you act on them. There are tons of complexities involved in writing a very good quality Wi-Fi sniffer using the raw sockets approach, right? The other, of course, is the library approach where we use a library which is a wrapper around these raw sockets and provides us with a lot of additional functionality. Now, such a library is KP, which is what we will use in our first couple of exercises. So let's move on to SCAPI basics. Now, what is SCAPI? Well, if you think about it, SCAPI is actually a general purpose library to sniff, inject and parse network packets. Now, keep in mind that SCAPI supports a ton of protocols, one of them being 802.11. Now, SCAPI can run interactively or can be imported as a module into your Python programs. Scapy is written entirely in Python and you can look at the details here. Now, if you go there, you should also probably find a link to Scapy's documentation. It's a bit old. Uh, the documentation hasn't, you know, kind of kept pace with the version of Scapy, but I think this is a good place to begin. Okay. So let's begin, right? No death by PowerPoint as promised. So the first step of course is to put your card into monitor mode so that we can use it with Scapy. So if I run Airmon NG without any arguments, I see I have a Realtek RTL 8187. This is really my alpha card which I have in here. I'm gonna set this to monitor mode. Let me first do a check kill so that we kill any processes which can interfere with our monitor mode. And then let's start WLAN 1 so that we can create a MON0 interface or our first monitor mode interface. Okay. Let's quickly run aerodump ng to verify everything is working fine. Okay, seems to be working okay. Awesome. So now let's begin with scapy. Now in this first video, we will use scapy entirely in interactive mode. Now here's the good news. Uh, if you are going ahead and using Kali Linux, Scapy is installed by default on Kali, right? I'm using Kali 108. 
So let's type in Skippy and hit an enter. Okay. Now, if you want to look at the default configuration with which Skippy loads, you can type in conf and hit an enter. You would see a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, the one which we are interested in is pretty much the iFace or the interface on which KP is going to work. Now, if you notice by default, this interface is E0 while we are interested more in the wireless traffic. So let's go ahead and do a conf.iFace equals mon0. There we go. Now, let's actually write our very first sniffer. So let's say, you know, we create a simple variable called Wi-Fi packets to hold the Wi-Fi packets we are going to sniff from the air. And now let's write 200 lines so that we can create a sniffer. Blah, blah, blah. And there you go. You just wrote your very first sniffer in Scapy. That's how easy it is. All you have to do is call the sniff function. It takes in a lot of arguments as possibilities. The one which we've used right now is count, which tells sniff the number of packets it needs to capture before returning. Awesome. Now, if you hit Wi-Fi packets without any arguments, or oh, sorry, without uh, calling any other uh, functions on it actually find other is set to one this is really your Wi-Fi packet you can very quickly do a summary and if you notice we've captured a beacon frame it clearly says the SSID is Verma house you could even do interesting stuff on it such as going ahead and printing the packet out as a PDF using PDF dump. Now this gives you a very beautiful visualization. If you notice, we have small amount of details from the radio tap header, then the dot 11 header, and then you have the actual beacon header with a lot of information including different IE elements, right? Or information elements. Now, Scapy by default might not be able to parse all of these elements. Uh, it, however, does give you a couple of them. The most important, of course, is the SSID. That's something it parses successfully. Okay. Now, let's say you want to go ahead and sniff a lot more packets all you would have to do is change the count and let's say make it to 10 right and now you sniff 10 packets let's do a quick summary okay uh, looks like we pretty much got uh, most of them you know the same SSID which seems to be around so here is what I'm going to do by default, SKP cannot do any form of channel hopping. So let's go ahead and hop channels using arrow dump ng. Arrow dump ng mon0 should do it. Any of this is confusing, you definitely need to go back and look at the first couple of Wi-Fi security videos, right? The assumption is you know the basics of Wi-Fi security. Okay, let's go ahead and sniff a couple of packets again. Hit the summary. Great, now we have some variations. Uh, we also have a couple of control frames this time and management frames, right? Now, if you notice, summary can get a bit confusing. If you want to go ahead and also write out the actual packet number, you can use end summary, which now gives you the packet numbers as well. Awesome. Now, if you'd like to dump all of these packets in hex, you can actually use hex dump and this dumps these packets in hex in case you would like to uh, go ahead and you know look at the hex dump see some other interesting aspects of it fantastic 
So what we've seen, of course, is setting up the interface, sniffing a packet, how to create a PDF, and how to sniff multiple packets. Awesome. So I think this is a great start. In the next video, we will look at packet handler functions and how we can integrate them with Scapy. So hope you had fun. Please try this out. And if you have any feedback, tweet to us via SecurityTube on Twitter or write to us on our Facebook fan page. Uh, again, you know, all of which you can find by just clicking on Facebook or Twitter above. Thanks so much, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.